Before we go, I wanted to share these with you. These are the actual comics I was mentioning. This is radium. Can you see the little A there? I got an A for my, my, my test. But this is the first comics character I did. And I drew literally hundreds of pages for dozens of characters that I created over three and a half years uh, for this, this period. And I never had more fun in my life. I go to I come home from school, and the first thing I would do <laughs> would be to draw my comics in my bedroom. This is a copy of the Venture fanzine, the first fanzine that we did. And it has stories in it, and there's Grimly. There's Grimly, I told you about. And Had lots of artwork in it. And this is Mindworks, the half comic. You see how, see the size? See the size difference? This was 50 cents. This was 50 cents. This was 75 cents. But this one, actually, it has, oh, I was interested in Bruce Lee movies, and I was interested in Kung Fu TV show, and so I put those in my fanzine. And there's, there's Grimley's Tales again. There's another Grimley story. And, um, and here is the hero, which is the, the, um, the personal story that I wrote about the fishing trip. Okay. And I also use mini comics to promote my bigger works, the bigger, the bigger things. I'm working on a graphic novel called El Aguar. And uh, I produce these mini comics to showcase a little excerpt from the greater work. These are about anywhere from 10 to 15 pages long. And uh, I love producing these to promote the bigger work. But these are really fun. These are really fun. And they're really inexpensive to produce. So uh, the next video, we'll talk about creating characters. And uh, we'll see you then. All right. Thank you. <laughs>